welcome to the 10 day tapping challenge. Today is day eight and today we're going to be focusing on health. So I'm going to give it a few minutes for, a pe for people to come in and I'm going to share it on my page and um, if you're new here you can say hello and uh, watch the intro video if you're not familiar with the with the challenge. It's, it's on my page and I'll be posting it after the video. So give me a minute to share this on my page and then we'll get into the tapping today. So I hope everyone's doing well. Um, today I wanted to focus the 10 day tapping challenge on health. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with this challenge, um, I have an intro video. So it's somewhere on my page and I'll also post the link after this video. It explains what EFT tapping is, the tapping points, and what this challenge all entails. So I really wanted to talk about health because that has been a big topic this past year and um, into this year and so I really wanted to bring up you know ideas of fear of health and fear of um, getting sick or or those kind of things because really when we when we focus on those fears and we focus on the negativity of whatever you know is causing us to be afraid we can really start to lessen that fear so this tapping is really going to focus on our health concerns so it could be about everything that's going on in the world right now or it could be personal um, Let's say that you're having your own personal health problems um, and you're not really sure how to manage them or how to alleviate them. It's not necessarily, it's not a diagnosis or it's not like necessarily going to eliminate the actual feelings, but what it does is it actually reduces the stress that is uh, caused by health concerns as well. So when we reduce our anxiety and our stress around our health, we actually can boost the immune system and um, become healthier and happier and inflammate. They've done studies where when you, when you calm yourself, when you're um, out of the fight or flight mentality, your inflammation goes down, your stress hormones go down, you, uh, your immune system is actually boosted and you thrive a lot better. So today we're gonna really kind of get into what, what those health concerns may be and those kind of fears. And when we're tapping on the negative, we're not tapping um, to, we're tapping to reduce the negative. So we're giving a voice to the thoughts that are already in our head so that we can release them with tapping. So um, before we get started, I just want to make a couple announcements. For those of you who have been watching, you know that I'm doing a contest. So um, if you want to be entered in the drawing to win a free EFT tapping session with me, you can either tag yourself or tag somebody else in the comments below. Um, so that contest, I'm going to be drawing the names on Monday for the free EFT tapping session with me. So this EFT tapping is going to be more generalized, but the one-on-one -on -one sessions are going to be individualized to what is going on personally in your life. So let's say you're having your own, maybe maybe it's a personal um, concern around, around health. While I'm not doing diagnoses or anything like that, I do help reduce the anxiety and the stress um, through tapping with, with those kind of things. So whatever you may be going through in your life, maybe it's not health, maybe it's emotional, maybe there's something 
um, you're dealing with, with as a family member or a friend, any kind of situation that you're going through in your life, um, we're, we can focus on that. So if you'd like to win a free EFT tapping session with me, you can tag yourself or tag somebody else in the comments below. And then I'm also doing a free clarity session. So if you're interested in learning more about what I do as a coach, um, so I help people stand up for themselves, help them learn to be more assertive and to say no to others so that they can say yes to themselves. So if you're interested in learning about my packages, what it all entails, um, I'm going to post the link after I finish the video to my free clarity session and you can just book a, a session with me and we'll go over all the details about what I do with my coaching. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to get into the tapping today. So I want you guys to get really comfortable and just kind of roll your shoulders back a little bit, maybe roll your neck around and just close your eyes and we're going to take three deep breaths in. So inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Now I just want you to check in with your body. So how is your body feeling right now? Maybe you are going through some sort of health crisis. Maybe you're feeling some pain or inflammation or anything, any sort of sensation in your body. Or maybe you're just concerned about your health because of everything that's going on in the world right now and you're just afraid of getting sick. So whatever that feeling is, I want you to really feel into it. And just notice how you're feeling. And we're going to rate that on a scale from 1 to 10. So 1 being you're not really concerned about your health and 10 being you're really concerned about your own health. So again, just noticing how we're feeling, not judging it, not wishing it away. This is about allowing, allowing your mind to have a voice right now because that's what we're going to tap on. That's what we're going to reduce our anxiety and stress over. So we're really allowing it right now to happen. And just notice any other sensations in your body. Are you feeling any tightness or tension anywhere? And just notice how your body is feeling. And then once you're ready, we're going to open our eyes and we're going to begin the tapping. So we're going to start on the karate chop point, which is this point right here. And you can just follow along with the tapping points and repeat after me. So even though I am concerned about my health right now, I completely love and accept myself. So even though I am really concerned about my health right now, I completely love 
and accept myself. Even though I have all of these concerns about my health right now, I completely love and accept myself the way that I am right now. And then tapping on the top of the head and just repeat after me. I'm really concerned about my health right now. Maybe I'm worried about getting sick. Maybe I'm worried about loved ones getting sick. Maybe I'm dealing with my own health issues. Or maybe a loved one is dealing with their own health issues. Whatever it may be, I'm just really concerned right now. I have all of these fears and anxiety when it comes to my health. I just want to be safe. I just want to be healthy. But it seems like everywhere I go right now, it becomes harder and harder to remain healthy. I have all of these fears surrounding my health. I just really don't want to get sick. I don't want my friends or family to get sick either. All of this fear is really overwhelming. And it's just really stressing me out. Maybe I have a diagnosis. Maybe I'm having some health issues. Just whatever is coming up for you. concerned about your health. I just really want to be healthy. I just really want to be safe. I just really want everyone to be okay. But it seems like it's harder and harder to be healthy right now. And we're gonna tap on the top of the head and you don't have to repeat after me, just think about the things that I'm saying. So I really want you to think about what is the main concern when it comes to your health.
What is the number one issue when it comes to being healthy? Are you feeling any pain or sensation in your body? And maybe just observe that, observe that feeling right now. Most of the time we avoid feeling that feeling. And although it may be painful, maybe it's a message. So just allowing yourself to feel whatever you are feeling right now. And allowing your body to speak to you. And we're going to tap on the top of the head and you can repeat after me again. I'm letting go of some of my concerns and worries when it surrounds my health. I know that I can still use precautions, but I can let go of the fear. I know that when I let go of the fear surrounding my health, that my immune system will become better. I know that once I let go of some of this fear, I will begin to feel better. Knowing that I can still feel whatever I'm feeling. But I don't have to add stress by being afraid. I can still take preventative measures. but I can let go of the worry and concern for myself or my loved ones. Knowing that once I let go of the fear, I'll begin to relax and feel healthier and thrive. You can stop tapping and take a deep breath in. And breathe out. You can close your eyes again and just check in again. How is your body feeling? Are you feeling any better? Have you noticed that some of your anxiety has gone down? So on a scale from one to 10, I want you to rate that feeling again when it comes to being concerned about your health. So one being you're not really concerned at all and 10 being you're still pretty concerned. So has your number gone down at all? Are you starting to see that some of your worries are drifting away?
Are you starting to recognize that really when you calm down your nervous system, you begin to start feeling better in your body? And then just notice how your body is feeling as well. Has your tension gone down? Where you were feeling tightness or tension, has it reduced? And then once you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I really hope that this one helped you. I know that this is a big one and I really wanted to do this in this tapping series um, because you know a lot of people are really concerned about their health right now. And it's not about you know not taking precautions, it's about not having the fear. Because when we reduce the fear and the anxiety about our health and about what we're going through, then we can start to feel better and our immune system starts to boost and we can really get out of that fight or flight mentality which really severely impacts our health. So I really hope that this helped. Um, if you want to, you can put in the comments what your number was before and what your number is now because then you can see the progress that you're making. Um, it's really great. You can always do this tapping more than once. Um, and then also if you're interested, as I mentioned before, I am doing a, um, a contest. So if you're interested in what I do in EFT tapping and you want a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can be entered to win a free EFT tapping session. So either comment with your name or tag somebody that you think would benefit from this. Um, and then also I do, I am going to post a link to my clarity session and where I talk all about what my coaching is and everything that that entails. So if you're interested in coming into a free clarity session with me, um, please let me know. All right. Thank you guys so much. And I really hope that this helps you and this really serves you right now. And so join me tomorrow for day nine. So thank you guys so much. Love.